Welcome back to Up North at Four. Today, we're talking baseball. Unfortunately, I am pretty useless when it comes to the sport. Right, I mean, it's been forever since I, pl since I played. I usually like play with like family, friends, and school and stuff like that. You know, the, kind of the on the side stuff. And I had fun with it, but obviously something I wouldn't probably do like up on the higher levels. That's for the major leaguers, which hopefully will be coming back soon. But that's a different topic, right? Yeah, well, Fortunately, today, we are going to be talking with somebody who knows a whole lot about baseball. Our first guest is Taylor Duncan. Taylor is a 24-year-old uh, from Georgia, which maybe normally wouldn't be an Up North at Four kind of a guest. Uh, but he's here for a pretty important reason, Devin. Yeah, he is here for a very important reason today. He founded an alternative baseball, a nonprofit for teens and adults with autism. Taylor joins us now to tell us more. Hi, Taylor. Hello. How are, are you? Oh, thank you for having me here. I'm excited to be with you all today. Oh, great. Well, thank you for joining us. I'm doing pretty great. Devin, how are you? Yeah, do, doing very well. I mean, baseball, it's hot outside. It sounds like the perfect combo, right? Yeah, right. We've, we've had a pretty baseball-heavy episode so far. Um, and I think the first question on everyone's minds here, Taylor, is what exactly is alternative baseball? So Alternative Baseball provides the authentic baseball experience for teens and adults ages 15 years of age and older with autism and other disabilities for physical and social skills enrichment for life on and off baseball diamond. So how did this all come together? How did you come up with the idea to start this? I mean, you're, you're 24 years old and you're starting baseball leagues across the country. How? Yes. Well, when I was much younger, at the age of four, I was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and I had a lot of speech issues, sensory issues, and anxiety issues. But with the positive experiences that I've had playing on traditional teams, playing America's pastime, playing slow pitch softball through the years, I finally decided it was time to provide the same positive opportunity for others just like myself, that we just want to be accepted for who we are and encouraged to be the best we can possibly be and support it to the maximum of our potential. We found out that a lot of those, just like myself, when they're graduated out of high school, unfortunately, in a lot of areas, once the Macho Man Randy Savage music stops, well, guess what? So do the eligibility for services because they have an age cap on a lot of them. It certainly sounds like a very good, good um, um, organization that's definitely getting going. Um, how do players benefit from the league aside from the obvious fun and community that comes from the team sports? Oh yes, absolutely. There's, it's much more than just a game. It's much more than a program. I call it a baseball experience for a reason. And I say that because those who played for years of competitive ball but just weren't allowed to progress, as well as those who never had the opportunity to play on a traditional baseball team before. We're all communicating with each other. We're learning the teamwork skills that are also needed for life off the baseball diamond into the world of employment as well. Absolutely. So uh, the reason we've got you on the show here today is you reached out to us, actually, because you were looking to start a league up here. So uh, what That's do right. you need and, uh, you know, how can we help get started? We need that coach manager. We need to find that coach manager up in the area to get that started. We need volunteers to help the coach manager because there are going to be roles the coach manager needs further help with. And of course, we need to find the players to serve. And once we get one going in the wild sow area, up there in that area of Wisconsin, we want to go into surrounding suburbs as well. We want to start us an area league. We can have one, two, three, four, five programs if we wanted to, as long as we had enough support from the community up there to be able to uh, put it all together. I think alternative baseball will be a great addition to the community. And I, I, th I mean, me, myself, I'm also on the autism spectrum. So it's been, it's, there's a lot of communication struggles when it comes to things like maybe I'll stutter every now and again and everything else. <laughs> so I think alternative baseball is a great way to um, get people together to say, hey, you're not alone in the struggle. And there's people out there on the spectrum, not on the spectrum, that supports them. Would you agree? Absolutely. So I'm um, kind of asking this question to both of you. As someone who um, is not on the spectrum, where do how, if we're trying to um, you know, do some, some kind of sports activity, how can people who maybe aren't um, familiar with autism and kind of what goes into that, how can they participate better on teams like this? And how can maybe we make sure that we're supporting uh, people with autism in alternative or traditional sports groups as well? Yes, absolutely. We actually encourage as many people as possible to 
become involved in alternative baseball, even if it's come spectating at games, even if it is volunteering, even if you don't have any experience with those with disabilities, there's always some sort of fit for you in alternative baseball. And you get a front row seat to watch what we can do, not on the perceptions of what we can't, but what we can. When we're supported to be the best we can be, and when we're encouraged to reach our maximum potential and to keep working beyond even our own wildest imagination of what we can accomplish, then there ain't no telling what can happen. Well, Taylor, I want to thank you once again for taking the time to come on today and talk with us about this. I think it is incredibly important, and I truly hope we can find some volunteers. Devin? I, I guess, I guess uh, for in a nutshell, uh, where can people go to get more information on the league? Go on www.alternativebaseball.org. And then there's forums, forums, forums for everyone. There's a forum for those who want to play, a forum for those who want to volunteer, those who want to coach. And we even have one for umpires. And I promise you, we'll do our best to keep the ball and strike argument to a minimal. All right. Well, uh, we are looking forward to it. And I can't wait to see my first alternative baseball game. Thank you so much, Taylor. Absolutely. Look out, COVID-19. Here we come in spring of 2021. Sign up today. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're interested in learning more about alternative baseball, like you said, you can head over to their website, alternativebaseball.org. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to Chef Tom from CT's Deli in here in Rhinelander for some tips on upping your 4th of July grill game. See you soon.